you know, folks, you know, up a very, very muddy and rutted four-wheel drive track that runs along the creek here, the Currambeen Creek, just past the township of Myola. It's a very lonely but poignant and sweet little grave. It's the burial site of a young boy whose name is Thomas Speechley. I'm sure you can read that. The grave site is quite well tended. And little offerings and that crucifix is quite new we're in very good order and it's hanging from a string and around it is a a black rubber wristband it's a Centrelink band in the Aboriginal flag colours the story goes that, um, well, my, the background any, anyway is that Myola, the township on the south coast, very small and um, quite a well-to-do, beautiful little place. But it also used to be home to uh, quite a large number of the local Aboriginal people. It was a big campsite there. I think Myola actually means place of crabs. And if you look just through there, you can see the creek, which is Currambeen Creek, I think it is. And that meanders right up through all the mangrove swamps and goes and goes right up. Actually, there's a bridge um, over, over it, further up the highway towards Huskisson. Anyway, um, I think it was around 1895 uh, to the early, early uh, 20th century. That there was a lot of um, Aboriginals camped there anyway. Was, they went the same as all of them, I suppose. Um, but it was a place that was very, very special to the local Aboriginal uh, part of the Darawal tribe. And uh, anyway, one day Thomas and his father, Mr. Speechley, were out on the Beecroft Peninsula where there's the um, the live firing range in the Department of Defence area out there and the lighthouse and so on and they were out there collecting grass tree gum for some purpose but no to only them could be making spears or something like that, woomeras or something in the same way that uh, spin effects gum is used anyway um, young Thomas found an unexploded shell and he, he um, interfered with it and it exploded he died from his quite horrific injuries and was buried out here and um, according to the, the info there uh, could be around four graves in this area although this is the only one that's um, marked in such a um, noticeable fashion But uh, you, can just, you can just see the creek through there, it's quite, quite broad, there's a boat ramp further up here. It didn't take me that long to find, but it really is a very lonely, sad but poignantly beautiful place to uh, lay a little boy to rest. It's starting to rain too, it makes it even more melancholy or melancholic. So yes, this is the lonely grave of Thomas Speechley. If you want to see it and pay your respects or just curiosity like mine, you can park up near the boat ramp at the end of the road in Myola 
and just walk. Wear some good boots. Rest in peace, Thomas. See ya.